funny signs everywhere, just like the weird drawing, trying to figure out what they mean, or just like the funny English translation is always hilarious to me too. So like their alphabet is Kaki Kukeko, Mami Mumemo, Tachi Tsutseto, Rari Rudero, and then there's N. It's like the only hard sound basically is N. And that's why it's such a poetic language, though. Everything ends in like an upbeat, you know, like everything ends in a, in a, in a vowel, and so it's always an upbeat. My wife's Japanese, and I met her when I was 19, and then we started dating and lived together, and I came out here for the first time with her, not really on a skate trip. I filmed like a video part here for Adidas a long time ago, and I've had two all Japan video parts, I think. Yeah, like solo parts. It's always been really difficult to film in Tokyo. I think it's a good place to, to like skate because there's a lot of stuff going on and it's real like hit it and quit it and get out and we keep going and it's like ever expansive and there's tons of stuff to explore. But filming's always been hard here because you don't get much time with anything. Well, I think that there's all sorts of different kinds of spots here. I think that Japan uh, has its own kind of like way of skating because they don't have as much freedom, I think, as kids. And a lot of the skating that happens is at nighttime, and so like their parents aren't as willing to let them go skate at nighttime. So I think that like having an older generation of skaters, like majority of the skaters being an older generation, you end up seeing a lot more like low impact, smaller, like creative, more like cool looking, focus on cool looking as opposed to like difficulty level, you know what I mean? Like more just like, um, yeah, just a little different, not so like banger based, I guess would be a lack of a better word, you know what I mean? And it's, and it's really cool and unique and I think it's like one of the only countries that doesn't follow California skating so heavily, you know what I mean? Like they have their own style of skating, they have their own style of like video making, you know what I mean? They've always had their own magazines, like it's it's a lot of their, you know their own brands like it's it's cool to see that another other countries do things their own way you know what i mean and aren't so so hung up on following american skating and california skating you know i think that there's an emphasis on like doing things artistic and doing things like putting a little more effort in aesthetically so that it's appreciated more and so that it's like treated better kind of you know what i mean like if you if you make your city a beautiful city then people are going to want to take care of it, you know? And I think that's something that's a Japanese thing. Because Tokyo is a very unique place and it doesn't represent all of Japan. And a lot of people, their only experience of Japan is Tokyo and their only idea is Tokyo. It's like thinking about the United States as just being Vegas. Like if you think that, if you just come to Vegas one time and you think that's what the whole United States is like, you're so wrong, you know what I mean? And, but basically a prefecture is like a state. When people say Tokyo, they're usually referring to this area, to like Shibuya and Shinjuku, but Tokyo actually is a lot bigger and there's areas that are like countryside and farm areas and stuff like that all within Tokyo. But that's just not what you think of when you, when you hear it or say it, you know, you're referring to like central Tokyo. There is like countryside and farming areas and like quiet things and you know, so it's, it's not only city. Tokyo isn't only just a city, it's like a, a big area. In Japanese language, they have like three different alphabets that they use for everything. And then like the kanji alphabet is like the Chinese. There are several characters that have the same sounds, like like Mai, you know, M-I, Mai, that is, there's several characters that, that um, make that noise, you know what I mean? But they have different meanings depending on which ones you use. And so you, you, you can pick which characters you want for your name and then that changes the meaning of the name. Like Milo means true color. My lo, 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 you know, it's, two, it's a two-character thing, and it means true color. One means true, one means color, you know. Yep. And then my daughter's name is Kina, is Kina, and we kind of made that name up, and that means shining field of wheat, basically, is, is what that means. There are definitely in Japanese inspired, and there's like, you kind of, when you name your kids, you kind of like, there's like rules, you know, you have to figure out the right characters for it, and like also like how many syllables it is is like good luck or bad luck so if the name's too long and it has like an odd amount of a weird amount of syllables then it doesn't work or something like that you know yeah and so like we 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 chose names that weren't either traditional american names or traditional japanese names but we but we used the japanese uh alphabets to decide what the meanings of the names are and what and what the names were it's a double-edged sword with all this stuff man like it's just 
I think skateboarding finally is big enough where there's room for all of it. You know what I mean? Before it was like our little boys club and it was like the secret thing and like you were just like a skater. That's what you were, you know what I mean? Like, and it was like them again, it was them and then there was us, you know? And now I think with the amount of time that's gone by, with the amount of different types of people that are in it, the more it gets become more of a mainstream thing, more people are attracted to it. The more money that's in it allows people to skateboard for longer and to create more influence from like a more mature standpoint and so it's not so childish anymore you know what i mean and and so there's finally like room for everybody in skating it wasn't just like these guys or those guys and it wasn't like we're like in the punk rock phase or like the hip-hop phase of skating it's like there's that in every you know there's every type of person is a skateboarder a pro skateboarder good skateboarder whatever you know and so with the olympics there's a certain type of person the athlete the like jock whatever you want to call them you know like they, that's what they want to do. That's their direction that they want to take skating in. And so it's cool that they can push skateboarding in that direction. And like the, the level of contest skateboarding is insane now. And the, how much it's shot up in the last few years is like, it's incredible, you know? And as like a fan of the act of skating, I think that's really cool. Um, I, I personally like to skateboard more about like it's more about like the destination and, and like the spot and the way you do something as opposed to like the difficulty of your or like the intensity of the trick you know what I mean and so that's just the way that I see it and so there's room for me to see skating like that and there's room for people to see it as like the biggest handrails or the hardest trick or whatever you know maximum airtime so I think there's room for everyone you know it's, it's, it's hard to say like it should be like this or should be like that I think that with the Olympics and with all the, with all the sports brands being involved in skating, it brings in a lot of money. And so far, the brands have supported a wide range of skateboarders and it's not just about like the hottest athlete, athletic dude. And so by having people like Dennis and Stefan and these other characters that aren't your typical athlete profile skater, you're, you're, you're moving skateboarding in an awesome direction, you know what I mean? Like, and if Dennis had to quit skating when he was 25 years old to get a job because he wanted to have kids, skateboarding would have suffered because of it, you know? And so by having these sportswear brands involved and having this more money involved, it allows people to skate longer, to get comfortable with their skating, and to push it in a direction that they couldn't push it in as a younger person, you know what I mean? So I think that's cool. And I want to go to the Olympics. I just want to see it. I want to see. I want. I want to see the Olympics. Say, fuck yeah! I mean, I don't skateboarding. Yeah, that'd be cool too. But I just want to see the Olympics. You know. Uh.